Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, this is Haven. Most of you know me as Haven did go from Second Life, where I teach things, or I did teach things. Um, this is a tutorial on how to do an AO. Um, I'm going to be using this table as an example in this uh, video. Uh, the next video will actually put the AO map with the texture for the uh, table that we created, or that I've created here. I'm going to put them together. Uh, like I said, that'll be the next one, though. So let's just get to the AO part here. The first thing that we want to do is put our table into smooth shading. You can see right now that it's flat. Flat is not going to give you the best results when it comes to your AO. You really do want to have this set to smooth. So there it goes. And you can tell the difference. Flat is each face has its own shade of gray. Uh, but when you put on the smooth, you get a gradient effect across all of the mesh. So that's really what we want for this. The next thing that we want to do is put this into edit mode. With it in edit mode and with all of the UVs selected here, I'm going to come into my um, image uh, area down here and make a new image. So this one I'm just going to call AO. And the alpha is turned off. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. With that all done, I'm free to move over to my render settings. And that is the camera icon in the properties window. Come all the way to the bottom to the big section and expand it by twirling open this little arrow. You're going to see that the bake mode here is set to full render. Uh, that's not what we want for an AO. We want to click on this and change it to ambient occlusion. Now that isn't the only setting that we have to have. We need to go up to the scene uh, world tab, which is the planet icon, and look down for where it says ambient occlusion. And let's go ahead and just check mark that on. With that on, let's go back to our render settings, and we're going to bake this out. Now, we are not going to get the results that we want to, but I do want to show you a little bit, step by step, what happens. So this is the uh, first few steps done. Let me expand that a little bit so you can see it better. And let me go ahead and bake it. It's going to take a very short time. And there we go. I'm going to put my table into object mode again and zoom in. At first, it may look OK, but it really is not a very good one. Do you see how grainy this is, like I, um, almost gunpowdery, how splotchy and awful that is? This is not the way that we want to have an AL map. We really do want nice, smooth surfaces. So let me show you something that a lot of people don't seem to notice at first. In the planet settings, the world settings, the planet tab, um, you'll notice that when you turn the AO on and off, that you got these settings pop up. This is where the samples are. Samples are how many pieces at a time are, are how many times areas Blender concentrates on baking out. And this is five. If we increase this number, Blender does a much more concentrated job. I'm going to take it all the way to like 20, even 22. It doesn't really matter at that point. Um, but this tells Blender to, you know, um, bake out the AO in smaller sections so it gives more power or more, um, uh, yeah, I guess you could say power. <laughs> it gives more to each section. So now I'm going to go back to the camera render settings and bake a second time and watch what happens. This does take a little bit longer, but not too much. We're only doing a table. I guess if you're doing a big complicated scene that it would take a lot more. But you can see that it's doing it in smaller sections than it did before. So Blender is really taking its time on each area rather than trying to do the whole thing basically at once. And when it does this, we get much better results. All right, so now I'm going to camp back in here. And do you see? Look how nice and clean that is. It's beautiful. It's smooth. There's soft gradients going from the area that has the shading to the non-shaded area. You can see the sides here look really nice. Uh, the legs even are so clean compared to what they were. 
There is just one more issue with this, though, and that's if these are all grays. Do you see how gray this is? Well, when you're using blend modes like you're going to use for this AO map, whether you do it here or in Photoshop, blend modes often work on either white, gray, or 50% uh, gray, white, black, or 50% gray. So, um, because these different layer modes um, are affected by these three different colors um, and the luminosity of them, it really works better if an AO map is white to black, not gray to gray. So, um, the reason that this is baked gray to gray is because we have colors in our um, in our object here, and so we want to tell Blender to ignore the colors and use straight white to black. And so down here where it says normalize, that's exactly what normalize does. So we're going to click on normalize and hit bake again. And you'll be able to see instantly how white that is. <laughs> it looks much nicer, much fresher, crisper, and cleaner. And this actually works a lot better now with your blend modes than it would if you had left it with a 50% or the gray scale um, color on there, gray to gray. So as soon as this is done, I'll go ahead and put it on the table so that you can see it better. Okay, so come in here, look how nice and white that is. And you have your shadowing. You have this along the edges, which gives you detail to the shape of this. The legs look awesome, awesome. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll conclude this tutorial by placing it on the table so that you can see it. I will simply go into uh, my settings here in the shading section, turn on textured solid, close those up for now, and let me just close this a little bit more. And now you can see your AO map on your table. It almost looks nice enough just to do it like that, doesn't it? But look at the shading the, um, right here. Look how nice that looks. And this is going to work so well with um, the blend modes. So, happy AO making. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial where, like I said, we mix this in with the actual texture we're using on the table so that we have the two textures in one. Bye.